Like, what's it like up there, buddy? Uh, it's, no, it's cooler, <laughs> actually. It's, I'm doing the air conditioning. It's fantastic. <laughs> right. Well, we're here at the Callaway Fitting Center, Performance Center. Yep. Um, and it's really, you've got a, a fantastic uh, situation here. Uh, in more recent times with the uh, simulators and with the launch monitors, it's very mm. accurate. And uh, it really is the ideal scene to find the precise equipment for you. And, That's fantastic, yeah. exactly. And you've come, uh, Callaway's come a long way uh, in recent years in really uh, embracing the club fitting. Oh, they definitely have. You know, I mean, especially with our you know, such a big range that we've got now, we, we can really fit any type of golfer. You know, yeah. uh, from the from the, the tour professionals to the, the starters, especially with all the different combo sets you can make with hybrids and lofted fairway woods. You know, it's nearly, I couldn't imagine buying a set of clubs and not coming to get fitted. No, not, it's come a long way since uh, my early experiences with another company that uh, yeah. uh, really, uh, they set they set the bar way back then in 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 in, in actually getting the average amateur to get to get fitted. Yeah. And uh, of course, companies like Callaway have, have picked up that uh, that need. Mm -hmm. that the education is the deal. Yeah. And so here we are today sure. at uh, your performance center. So ready to start? It's ready to start. You can you can open it up by. Yeah. Hit a, hit a couple towards the net for us. You've got your seven iron. Yeah, this is my own seven iron. I've had this one for probably about four years. Okay. I'm, I'm really nearly, I'm in the market for a new set of clubs. So yeah, you might, beautiful. You yeah, me. you might be a chance today. <laughs> yeah. Get straight into the, the Okay, so. There we are. Distance where you need, where you need it. Distance okay. where you need it. So let's see, I, I, at my age and stage, uh, power is always a nice little extra. Yeah, no, yep. Wow, there we hang are. on. And we're away. Very nice. Well, that's a good way to start. There we go. And that's our practice fairway there at the Elite Performance uh, Center over in the headquarters over in California. Okay, so what I see here is a downward angle of attack with, I've got a seven iron. We've got a seven iron. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna, uh, we're just gonna just jump back out of that and just get straight into a quick session. Yep. And, We'll be able to bring all your numbers up and personalise it for you. So you want me to hit? So uh, you can, yeah, you can hit while I'm just doing this. That's no problems. What I liked was when I saw you and Jake. You, you got, he had quite a few shots with his own club first. Yeah, I'll definitely give you a chance to warm up and make sure we get a realistic reading. Boomerang. Back to me. So all I'm doing now on the screen is just I'm personalising to what I, I like to bring up uh, initially for the, for the students, which is a fair fair few things, but we just want to get a good idea of where they're at. So I'll put up head speed, uh, ball backspin, ball speed, efficiency, carry distance, and total distance. So that'll give us a good indication of everything that's happening. I'll also bring up the averages and the shot pattern. And as far as what the club's doing, we want path angle and face initially, just to see where they're coming from. Okay. Total distance, right. Now I'm just going to enter the club. So it comes up as woods because you tell you what, this golf ball feels very good. That's a beautiful golf ball. Very low compression, nice soft feel, isn't it? Yeah. Frames up. Game yeah, I play it. You should be playing it too, Pete. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> I mean, so many people use the wrong ball as well. Yeah. It makes a difference. Right, game right. I'm just going to jump to that. So what we can do here is if we go, have got the wrong thing, we can move those shots up to his game, Ryan. Just so we get the averages right. Beautiful. And we tick those. They're all grouping nicely here. Yeah. Pretty consistent. There you go. Right, okay. Is that enough hits with mine? Yeah, that's enough, hit, enough hits with yours. Uh, uh, you know, we've got so much left in me, so. There we go. I mean, you know, looking at it, you know, as far as your head speed goes, you know, you maintain that. So you've definitely swing it nice and smooth and very consistent. Your, your launch angle doesn't really change. It's in between 18.8 and 19.3. So um, that's nice and tight. Your backspin's fairly consistent as well. Your carry distance. So they've, they've all been grouped 
you know, if you have a look up on the left hand side of the big screen there, Pete, yep. you can have a look at the dispersion here. Yeah, it's pretty tight, isn't it? Pretty tight, and we can also bring that up as a display. Is that the here. red or the, am I the white? Right, that's your dispersion, the red, right? So we can also bring that up if we get rid of that and put in total dispersion, minus 24 feet, so just slightly left. That's the, that's oh, the yeah, maximum sort of dispersion out of them, which is fantastic. Well, which I've got to say something. Can I just say a little something here? Yep. I've just increased my club head speed, like I need the need for speed. Yes, uh, as the need for older, speed. You know, 66 years young. Uh, basically, I've increased my speed in the last week by about, uh, about one full club. Is that so right? About th uh, three mile an hour. It's a good effort. How did you do that? Uh, I had Mike Adams and BioSwing Dynamics come down and we we did a, uh, a workshop uh -huh. at, at Moonal Links with Phil Bolton yep. and uh, for amateurs. And then we did two days for golf pros at Royal Melbourne. So we got a certification program. And Fantastic. It was magic because what Mike did for us was he gave us a way to customize uh, for, for ourselves and for our students. Mm -hmm. So you can just fine tune like fine tuning the equipment, but yep. fine tune the swing. Uh, so you get a, a basically a, a body screening. So different, so it's smart. different length arms and things. So I was able to just tweak my grip a little bit. And when I played really well, uh, uh, way back, yeah. uh, then I remember Paul Runyon was out here with us and I played a, a Victorian Open. I was in the last group with uh, Greg Norman in the Victorian Open that week. Mm -hmm. And the beginning of the week, I wasn't hitting my driver quite so well. And Paul Runyon said, just put your right hand a little bit more on top. Well, guess what? That's what, that's what <laughs> when, when that's what Mike came out, he said the right hand was just a little bit. So I just got there. And so now I can really. And straight away. Three mile an hour club. That's it's incredible. Using the, ground oh, a little bit the other thing is too, mm -hmm. yeah, with, um, Using the... oh, this is for, for amateur golf or for all <laughs> golf pros as, you've got two sorts of th things to increase your speed. You've got rotational force. Mm -hmm. And you got the vertical, which now they're finding with the with the leverage weight, off the ground. Yeah, weight platform machines. Yeah. Well, basically, if you just get get yourself set up with, a, in my case, just a little more knee flex. Mm -hmm. When I hit, I can I can get the vertical force, which helps the speed of the hips as well. So, and takes the pressure off the back. So I heard a story that uh, where Ty, uh, who was it, one of the caddies or one of the coaches said sort of said um, he was watching Tiger Woods in a tournament. He left indents in the ground from his yeah, feet. No. That's how much you use the, yeah, yeah. the ground as leverage. <laughs> well, you know, guys had said to me uh, when uh, when I was working in the states uh, that had worked with uh, been the assistant pros at Seminole where mm -hmm. Ben Hogan used to practice. Mm -hmm. And the, and when the, they guessed it was the ground was pretty uh, w uh, it was tidal so it w wet. Yep. So after you'd practice, you'd go down there and you'd see his feet in the ground. Right? Yeah. Basically, with with the idea of pushing, yep. which we do is throw the club at the ball, make it real simple. You really feel that ground force. Yeah. I got it back. Well, that's why that uh, those 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 balance plates sort of uh, give you. It's incredible these days with all the technology that confirms all those ideas, isn't it? Yeah. So let's get back in this fitting. Right. So I, let's get back in this fitting. So. Obviously, you hit the ball very consistent. I mean, as far as your your launch goes, you know, if we if we do refer to our chart here for for you, as far as your head speed and and, and launch launch angle and backspin, they're they're the main three things initially that we're looking at, to what type of club you're going to use. So, you know, you're just under 80 miles an hour. As far as our launch parameters go, 75 to 80 miles an hour is a regular flex in a steel shaft. That's that's our recommendation. Um, should launch between 17 and 20 degrees and 61 to 6500 RPM. So you're launching it at um, 19.3 degrees, which is ideal. It's fantastic. And uh, your backspin, your total backspin, 5799. Remember, it's a little bit of a lower spin ball. So 5799, so I think what, it's going to be good for you. Ideally 61 to 65, yeah. So his averages would have been probably about 61, I reckon, ball speed, do you yeah. think? And yeah. Head speed was somewhere around 80. His averages are down on the oh, yeah. ground there. You can sort yeah. of see them, yeah? Average head speed, 80 miles an hour. Um, total distance there at 159. Actually, it's on the screen here as well. But they're everywhere, yeah? <laughs> and we can also bring up, sorry, there, your launch, launch, and backspin. You can bring a lot of different averages up there, but yeah, they're the ones we're really looking at initially. You know, initially, I sort of so have a look launch, at what their clubhead speed is. 80 mile an hour clubhead speed. So. That's with my club, okay. Yep, so that's 19.3. So yeah, and fairly. then I'll yeah, now what we're looking at now to see if we're gonna make an improvement on the clubs, I'll measure you up, we'll put another seven on your hands, 
and we're, we're going to have a look at really not necessarily you swinging it faster, but the, the ball coming off faster. Yeah, and that's what all, all the club technology is about these days is creating Maximizing, more ball speed yeah, off yeah. on Maximizing center shots and off center shots, yeah. For the speed you swing at, yeah. So let's measure you up to start with. We're just going to do a, just a basic sort of um, wrist to floor measurement. If you just want to stand nice and tall, let your arms hang freely from your shoulders, eyes forward. That's one thing difficult for me to stand Perfect. tall. Perfect. Right, so you're right at 35 inches wrist to floor, which is right in the middle of, of uh, standard l length, yeah? Yep, yep. And you said these ones are half inch over? Half inch over, yep. And look, that can also be a personal preference. You know, I don't mind sort of going half inch over if that's what you yeah, feel I, better I, I with like, as well. I, I, yeah, I like the feel of that. I can go down the grip a bit. Yep, no, that's perfect. And uh, it gives me a little bit more that smooths out the swing to me. Now, for you, you, you hit off, off the I'm middle of the I'm just wondering whether I go into graphite. You know, I'd be interested. Well, we're going to try. We're going to try a bit of both. Yeah, for sure. Um, Especially these days, now the graphite's really uh, in, in improved the definitely, the, uh, definitely performance. So, you know, for you, for you, I mean, we're going to go for a forge club straight away. You know, we're going to, we'll try the forge one. I think this is the one I'm going to fit you to do best. But we'll also try the XR, which is a more forgiving one as well. Yeah. Okay. But this this now this new forge club does have the same face technology as what the the um, the game improvement irons have got, yeah? So it's got a hot face. So Beautiful. it's the first time that you've been able to put a hot face into a forged iron. So like you get that. the forged feel with great uh, distance. So let's go, let's do this. We're gonna add the club. That's the Apex CF16, seven iron, XP95. Right, now put it together. So we will, we'll try the steel to start with and then we'll put you into the graphite and see how that feels. So this is half inch over. This is in the, sorry, it's this one. This is a 95 gram shaft, Pete. So it's a, it's a lightweight steel. The one that comes stock in the XR is an 80 gram shaft, so a little bit lighter. I've got two flat in the head, yeah? Yeah. We'll see how that comes up. Right. So fitting someone like Pete, like a, a golf pro, yep. um, does it just, I guess, um, fitting him into what, does it just um, speed it up? It <laughs> speeds it up big time, yeah. Because they're, they're hitting the ball in the middle, the, the, yep. the swing's consistent, yep. so and they pretty much know what they nearly want anyway. And, and, and I just give them a couple of different options. Do you generally fit more towards what they're looking to achieve? Um, yeah, look, I mean, I, I, I generally fit, you know, I give them a couple of options, but yeah, I generally fit to what, you know, they, they generally sort of go for. for yep. Yeah, I mean, the, the better player is, look, they don't need so much um, forgiveness in the club. Yep. You know, they, they do prefer, everyone prefers the feel of a forge club. Yep. So this iron's been fantastic yep. for us. So th this is the go-to one straight away for the, the, the better player. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just open to. Uh, I'm I'm here as a, a yeah, blank for sheet. for sure. Uh, and look, with them, I will definitely get the, the more forgiving clubs and see how they like that yeah. as well. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't come offline, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay. That was sweet. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, the first one was a bit thin, mm -hmm. but that one, that one I hit felt solid. Right, so straight away there, you know, we're looking at, um, you know, if we have a look at carry distance there, 155, 168, you know, you've already gained sort of seven yards there on your, your decent shot. Yeah, your average with your iron was 146 and 159. Yeah. Uh, 80 miles an hour, ball speed 107. Your ball speed average with your other one, your, your average head speed was 80, but your ball speed was 102. So, so it's a, a five, little... five mile an hour increase in ball so speed. Straight up. about where it was and back yep. spins a bit lower. Back spins a little bit lower. And you can see up on the, up on the, uh, the averages here, you can see it's past yeah. everything. Yeah. That felt pretty good too. Yeah. 
That felt really good. That sounded good. nice. What sort of efficiency rating are you looking at? Is it, can, you, can you max out at 100 for every club in the back? No, no. no. Generally, look, I mean, the better players, we're looking at about 92, 95%. Yep. 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 With, a, with a 7 iron? Yeah, with any club, yeah. Any club? Yep. Okay. yep. Face angle is a bit closed. Face angle is a little bit closed. Um, a little bit outside in fraction, okay. Yeah, launch was one, still one pretty good, though. Yeah. Launch angle is 18 point. 19 degrees. Yeah, let's have a look at the, the uh, Y angle. Close that one over a bit. Mm -hmm. Don't count that one. Just try a little extra something there. You can see that lying or there, but yeah, we wouldn't read that one. I've got it at minus 4.7 if you, if you, you know, it yeah. is too closed. Yeah, no, definitely. So the other, the other couple of previous ones to that have, uh, there you go. Yeah, no, it's actually not bad at the moment. It's too flat at the moment, yeah. Nah. Sit that in the toe. Do you try and play different shots? Do you, do you try and fade it when you got to fade it, or do you yeah, just like yeah. to, yeah? Well, no, I just got to stand it. It normally drops to the right. Yep. Um, just a little baggy fade, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last one, I, try, I tried to draw the last two, so now I'm just going to go back to relax. There we go. Just play it vanilla. Pete knows what he's doing. No. Interesting, I relaxed a bit. Uh, this is around the 166 plus, uh, around the 100 when I hit it properly. Yeah. 100, 165 yard distance, 150, 150 yard carry. That's, mate, well, just in the last week anyway. This time I go back. Right hand. Got a bit open there. How does it feel? What are you thinking? Um, feel right the hands? Feel too 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 light, too heavy. Uh, some climate let awareness. me hit one more. Yep. And then I'll uh, I'll I'll give you. I'll just get back to the. It, it, when I hit it sweet, it it feels sweet. Yep. Um, I thought it might be a bit too whippy for me, but it's 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 not. I, I can feel where the club head is. Mm -hmm. Now there's there's a there's the proper finish. You see. Very nice. So we have that 80 mile now, uh, 164. So okay. if you have a look up that left hand side there, Pete, you can see you know, the dispersion here a little bit further. A little bit more left, but you know, as far as your averages go there. Yeah. Um, this lying is a little bit too upright. I yeah, think, it's, yeah, 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 it's yeah. Too, too flat at the moment, yeah. yeah I need four, I think. Um, we, can bend, we, we can bend that to three. We can bend that to three. I mean... With that dispersion, that was also... Pete, Pete was trying to control a little bit, control the shot shape a bit at that time. We're, we're, we're warming up you. You weren't trying to hit drawers at all, were you? No, no, yeah. no, so no. that dispersion is more you than... Yeah, no, no. ...that the club's doing. Let me just... I'll hit one more with this baby. Yeah, right. go for it. I just want to... It's going to relax. I'm going to work on hitting the ball. Yeah, it wants to go a little bit left on you, doesn't it? Yeah, the line goes a bit out. Yep. Uh, so you can see a little bit down the toe. And look, you, you're on the you're on the your borderline uh, stiff flex as well. Yeah, that's I, that's what I can feel. Yeah. It's, isn't that interesting? It's just borderline so, stiff flex. It, it, it's amazing what you can feel. Which is going to. So yeah. let's try let's try the graphite in the steel. Or do you want to go? Yeah, steel? I, I, we're going to go. We're going to go stiff in the graphite. Um, XRC. Anyway, it's a beautiful, uh, you know, awesome. the cosmetics on this club are absolutely first class. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? they are. yeah, it's a great looking club. And, and, the, and I like the bounce, the way the bounce, so uh, here I can see that it won't dig. It's got a good, yeah, it's got the, the, the rounded sole and, and it's... Uh, it sets up to the ball beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, just a class. No, they're a beautiful line. Beautiful. Yeah, grooves are fitted, finished nicely too, everything's... And that's what you know, the good player's looking for as far as, you know, I mean, they're looking for the sex of the club as well. You know, you have, you know if we, we go into the game improvement lines, you know, they're a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, and it just, the good player will just put it down and as good as it goes and just go, I can't, can't use it. 
you know, but these are these are fantastic you know, for for you know having a cavity back and having that forgiveness in them that you know, the game improvement on is off of with that kind of look. It's tough to go past, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, okay, so we've got uh, a stiff flex here. It's just a standard length. We haven't got the half inch over in here. Okay. But we'll we'll know what's going on with it. Yeah. For sure. This is the recoil. This is the recoil shaft, which is fantastic graphite shaft. It's been. Very proper. A couple, a lot of the guys on the uh, tour tour use it as well. There's actually a couple on the US tour that use these shafts. Right, and the ladies probably are into these. All over them. Yep. Yeah. As you get a little bit, you know, more Oops. senior in years. Okay, stay on your feet. And points. it looks like a steel shaft for those that uh, don't want to make make the move to graphite without looking feel like they. Uh, it's very sneaky. Getting too yeah. old and they're not right for ready for them. Oh, Just no, got the iron finish. Whatever Relax, makes the ball okay. go there. Feels, I can feel the head, this one. Beautiful feeling. Good. Oh, a bit on the toe. Interesting first shot. Let's see how I respond. But it feels good in the hand straight away, yeah? Oh, yeah. It feels, it feels very responsive and good club head awareness. Good. Source of control. Knowing where the club head is. Exactly. Oh, I felt that felt super. Very nice. You know, it's already sort of he's saying straight, as soon as when he's hand, it feels better. So you know, that's that's a, a big thing is ha having the right shaft in there with the right weight to develop the right feel and uh, have club head awareness. So that feels pretty good, Pete. Yeah. It does. Uh, it, it, interesting. No, 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 no greater club head speed or distance. No. But uh, just feels good. That one did. That one felt. Uh, let's see if. It, I mean, you've it. actually decreased it. Oh well, slightly with your club head speed. Uh, spin rate's dropped. Yeah, yeah it's spin rate's down a little bit more. Sounds pretty good though. That felt super. So your control on that's pretty good. Beautiful. Amazing though, the club head speed's gone. Oh, well, it's a half inch shorter. It is half inch shorter, yeah. So that could be the. You know, the ball speed's still 107.2. You know, with, with, with the uh, steel shaft, you average 106.7, and with your one, you average 102.2 .2 with more club head speed. So the ball speed's gone up, you know, five to six miles, well, f about five miles an hour. Has there been a, been a strike? Yeah, I mean, that can also be the shaft of what it's doing as far as, you know, the, the kicker and everything like that. Yeah, I, I just, I really enjoyed that last one, the feel mm. of that. I'm just going to hit one more. I can quite easily fall in love with this. <laughs> in terms of sticking a green, what sort of spin, like, spin rates make a big difference? What's that? In so the neck. You're going you're gonna to hold it. Still a, a good miss. Yeah, well, I... It approaches it. 500 revs is going to make... No, it's much not. Much it's not. No, no. So, um... Yeah, I mean that's definitely something you got to look at you know, with with the average golf. You got to get that. You got to get the spin up so it does stop without yeah. sort of bloating in the air. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, as long as it's a, you know, with the good ones, it's around that mark. Yeah, yeah he's spinning really good there, five three. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I gave that one a little more vertical force in the swing. That's uh, Mike Adams would like yeah, that. How much straight is that coming off? Yeah, Hundred and eight miles an hour. So, you know, you can see that here. Um, you can see, if we just, let's just pick all these. Fascinating, actually. Me. Let's to be this one. precise, yeah. to be able to know. We'll that there. But you can see. Um, As a player, this makes such a big difference. Really straight. But you can see here that uh, the club is down, but the ball speeds yeah, up, yeah. yeah. Averages. Transfer it's got a slight bit more there. Yeah. They come off fantastic. You want me to hit one more? Yeah, let's hit one more. Okay. The stiff flex feels pretty good, yeah? Yeah, I got a little bit better. I got more control of the club head, I think. Mm -hmm. Second thoughts. Bit heavy? I got them to hit on the toe, yeah. See the toe down, I got a little bit. I, I wanted to put more vertical force in that one. Uh, let, let, let me just go back and relax and stay, yeah, stay, stay balanced. Last one, this one. Very nice. 
That's the finish. I better finish. You can easily get used to that. That's those. where I want you to finish, Jake. Okay. I want me to finish there too. Okay. How far did that go? 81. Yeah, just, just by going, allowing just my mind to go down in that way. Uh, yeah. So that was 169. 155 carry. That's good. So what, yeah, what no, am I going to do now? If, so, I, can't, I can't help myself. We're going to have to get a set of these. You're going to have to get a set of those, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> do you use any hybrids at the moment or anything like that? I'd like to. Yeah? <laughs> what what have you currently got? In your, what's your set uh, makeup? I've got a hybrid. Uh, I've got an 18 degree, but... So that's the, that's the next thing we do is, you know, we I have a look at you know, how many wedges and getting the correct set makeup. You know, these yep. days, you know, with, with the hybrids, where do we start them at? You know, they're... Make, we make a seven hybrid these days. I mean, I'll make an eight and nine and just be done with it yeah. soon. Um, so, you know. I, I, I still like long irons. Yeah. Uh, but the hybrid's a great club to have in your bag for when you get it either in the rough or you want to carry a high one into a green, you know. And look, like with 190. When I'm thinking, yeah, that's definitely something I'll do is, is, you know, I'll go grab a five iron, grab a four iron in that set and get them to hit that up against the hybrids as well. You know, so you, you, we're just not going seven iron, this is what you're going to get. Yeah. But they can actually see and feel the difference between the two of them as well. Yeah, got to go, you, you fit right across the board. Yeah. So it looks like I've got to come back for more fitting. So you've got to come back for more fitting, yeah. We're going to do a thorough fit, I think. Yeah, now this one here. Yep. Um, what's it say on lie angle? You, we can bend that to three degrees. We could probably three. go to four, but they only do it to three. Okay, well I can I can do, always do a little extra. Exactly, yeah, thing. yeah. But uh, it's got a, it's got a, a, a a hosel here that can be bent. Yeah, yeah, because it's a, it's the, uh, it's a, fo a forged club. You can, it can bend a little bit more than the, 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 the stock cast clubs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing, it's so, uh, and if I wanted a half inch longer. Yep, no problem. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely make it half inch longer for you. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, but I think I like, stiff flex going half yeah. inch longer is probably a good, a good uh, middle ground from stepping up from a regular shaft steel. So there, there's that. Yeah, so there's the directories of them, yeah? How so, many if we... Okay, you so can see the dispersion right on the left-hand side, left-hand side of the screen here of this little... Yeah, this, yeah. this is it here. So Very tight. Now, my, my iron compared with... The, the red? Mine's the red. Your okay. iron, yeah, is the red. Yeah. You look down the left, Pete. On the left-hand side, you've got the dispersion. Yeah, I'm... So I'm, there's, I'm, your, yeah. there's yours. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking at this here too, see? Yeah. It's just that. Yeah, nice and straight. Uh, but this, I, I know that I could get pretty, uh, it wouldn't take long to get this and one. And how long have you been using those clubs for? Yeah, that's exactly right. You so know? I, I, I just want to hit one more with this. But while we're looking at the difference as far as the um, overall distance goes, uh, it's 146 up against 153 and 159 up against 167. So 146 you know, you, you've, uh, put on, you've put on mine. seven yards carry. To against one uh, one four six is yours and one uh, one five three one five three is the one you got in your hand right. with the graphite shaft and with the steel shaft it was with the steel shaft one five two yeah remember that's half inch shorter than what you're going to get as well so yeah so the graphite definitely goes a little further oh definitely definitely now, and you can uh, see that with the ball speeds as well the, the, the you get greatest ball speed with that club it's 107 yours was 102 the the steel one is 106. Isn't that nice? Mm, it's beautiful, but, isn't it? No, it, 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 what yeah, is it's really nice is to notice. Yeah. It's not, this is not smoke and mirrors. This is the, this is the real deal. That's exactly. Why, that's why I feel that uh, we're doing these, uh, these assessments so we can put them up in the, on the internet so, yeah. so the, the general golfer out there can get a real honest idea. Exactly, of, yeah. So, you know, and, and anyone, you'll get this everyone in. that plays golf, it's, they're silly if they don't go and get club fit. Crazy. Yeah. And especially, it costs nothing. Yeah, no. You know, you can just go and get a local retailer if you're, if and you're say, in I want to go to Callaway for a yeah. fit. If you're in Melbourne, there's a fitting centre here and it's definitely yep. highly recommended. Definitely. And uh, as I said... Uh, I said, it's no charge if we just send the specifications to, to, to a retailer, your preferred retailer. Yeah. It, uh, and the thing is, the, 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 at the moment, I'm not a retailer. So I, I, I've got nothing, I've got no... Exactly, no. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm biased. Yep. Okay? So uh, just for, uh, for the average punter out there, the, the golfer that just wants to know more, understand and find the right club. Why wouldn't you? Definitely, you, you don't just Take advantage off of the, the service, no. Nah. It's, off Crazy. the rack is, uh, is not Just the a lottery. 
just a lottery. Can't help us teachers. You know, as a teacher, you want the, the club to be fitted and then you can really do a good job teaching. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I've come from a teaching background as well and you just, you know, I mean, there's, there's only so far some, some students can go with the clubs they've got. And the nice thing with the, with our system, Crow Golf system, it, it's system, it's holistic. Yep. So, and now, especially with combined with uh, Mike Adams and the bio uh, swing dynamics, we can customize uh, and just really get get the student's best swing. You got all bases covered. And yeah, good. so, but if the equipment doesn't fit, you're you're you're, you're going against it. Uh, it makes it makes it difficult. It makes it very difficult. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, thanks very much, Andrew. That's all right, Peter. No, lovely. Well right. done. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll be back. We'll see you back here soon. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Super duper. Great. Well done.